Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here, and uh, today we have a special tutorial. Uh, we will be learning how to uh, change the splash image in Photoshop, which is the image that appears when you start Photoshop. Uh, you may recognize it by uh, some uh, cer blue circles um, around a uh, rectangular image or uh, some splashes if you have uh, the extended version of a CS6, for example. So uh, let's see what we need and what we have to do uh, to make this happen. So the first thing that you will have to do is go in the description and download Resource Hacker and install it. Uh, this is for Windows only for now. I don't know if there's a Mac version. I think you can do this also on Mac, but I, I don't know where to find a file. I, I Google it and it's just, it's a bit hard. Um, anyway, for Windows users, you're in luck. Um, <laughs> sorry, Mac users. Um, but just download Resource Hacker and the Splash Template PSD that I um, attached also in the description. Make sure to, to uh, download that because you will need that to uh, make your um, template. And that's going to be your base. Okay, now pause the video and uh, come back when you've installed everything. And we're back. And I am assuming that you already have Resource Hacker installed and stuff like that. What you need to do now is go to your Adobe Photoshop CS6 folder, whichever uh, you want, 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. I am on the 32-bit uh, version here of Photoshop. And you need to find in the main, uh, just in the main Adobe Photoshop CS6 folder, you need to find this file called PSArt and make a backup out of it like I did here. Oh, there's also a, another backup, which is weird. I did make that. Okay, ghosts. Just leave it there now. I'm going to minimize the image and start your uh, resource stack. Or actually, you know what? First, let's start with the splash template. I'm just going to launch the PSD and uh, let's see what uh, what the layers do we have and uh, how to save uh, the splash template what you when, once you did it. So uh, let me show you the example splash template that I made. So uh, this is the uh, splash template, uh, Bakashop CS6. Yeah, and I know it's kind of corny and stuff, but, you know, I like it. Uh, this is my splash template. I didn't get truly creative with it because I just needed a quickie for the demonstration. Uh, so I'm just going to have to uh, do with this for now, for uh, this example. So this is going to appear when you start Photoshop. I'm gonna just going to close this image right now and focus on this. Uh, this is the uh, work area layer. Uh, this is the area where you can put all your things. Anything that's outside is extra, like if you want to put splashes and stuff, you can do that. And this is the uh, main file. This is the uh, main splash Im that image that appears uh, when you start Photoshop. And as you can see, there's text here. So you need to orient yourself around this text here. This section of the text all appears whether you like it or not. This above section is just... Uh, pre-designed in uh, the image so it's part of the image but th this text will appear so you need to focus your design around uh, this text too because if you put your logo or some text here you're not going to see it it's gonna, because it's going to be uh, obfuscated by uh, this one when it's going to appear obviously okay I'm making a lot of sense right now um, so yeah as you can see you can go out of bounds with circles like uh, it's in the main image you can put splashes or uh, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, and this is the background, which we don't need, but I just put it here because with uh, the default transparent background, it's kind of confusing, you know, because of optical illusions uh, caused by the squares. Um, I'm just going to leave it here so you can just do your design and then just hide the background. And when you're saving an image, make sure to go to File and then Save As, and then you can save it as a uh, PNG file interlaced you're going to get the option to save it interlaced so save it interlaced i'm going to close this for now no and now let's open resource hacker so uh go to your software folder wherever you have it i have it here on my uh launch control uh i'm going to click on a resource hacker and this window is going to appear now go to file open and in your uh, photoshop cs6 folder you're going to scroll until you find the uh, PS art file DLL which is this one here and you're going to click on open and uh, now you go and click on the plus here next to the PNGF then you're going to go 
way under until uh, the letter S appears and you're going to search for uh, where where is it it was here splash background there we go found it and this is uh, the image that is in the DLL file and we need to replace this now as I said I already have made a, uh, a splash image so I'm going to right click and I'm going to select replace resource and uh, then open file with with a new resource I'm going to go on the desktop and going to go and find my splash image and there we go splash template open the resource type make sure it is PNGF the resource name must be splash background dot PNG splash background dot PNG um, oh, make sure to close Photoshop before you do anything because you're gonna get an error if you don't close it and uh, the resource language should be the name of the file which is 1033 that's it now click on replace and voila now go to file save and let's see what happens when we start Photoshop double click on the PSD template and check that out that looks fantastic Bakashop CS6 this is going to be <laughs> My new um, Photoshop version. Um, awesome, awesome. So we learned something new today. You can change your image, your splash images like this. Be creative. Uh, maybe you can do speed art to give you an idea for a video. You can do speed arts on making splash images. You can do um, various templates and make them available to the public. I'm probably gonna give away some if I uh, have time to make a few cool uh, splash templates. Well, yeah, um, fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, make sure to stick for more and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. Um, yeah, enjoy. Cheers.